Hey, what's up, Night Viewer? I figured I'd do a review of Panya. It's a fantasy golf game, as you can tell, and it is made for the PSP. It was copywritten or published by Tommy. And let me flip it over to the back. And I hope you guys can read that very well. Give you an idea what this game is. That's in English. I have no idea what language that is. But, um, yeah, it's practically the same thing as that. But anyway, there you go. As you can see, um, it also has other companies involved such as Entry, SK Telecom, and of course, Tomy. And I'm guessing you guys probably can't read that, but it was copyrighted somewhere between 2008 and 2009. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video on Panya is because... Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, when it comes to my experience with golf, it is pretty much zero to none. I have never played golf. I never really had desire to go out there and play golf. I'm not saying golf is bad. I'm For all you golfers out there, hey, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But it's not mine. I never, you know, looked at it as, oh, wow, that's something I got to do. Now... I have experienced putt-putt. I'm not going to lie. Putt-putt is fun. I mean, if you ever play putt-putt, you know what I'm talking about. It is fun, especially when you out with a group of friends or anything, you know. It's, it's fun. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I have somewhat of experience with golf. And that has to be with the Wii Sports from Nintendo. And I'm not going to lie. Panya... And the Wii Sports sort of borrow the same gaming mechanics. I never played any of the Tiger Woods golf games, so I don't know how that works. But, anyway, off about this game. Panya is a fantasy golf game, as you can tell. And, the one thing about Panya that I found out, which was actually pretty surprising and cool to me, is that, I believe it's in South Korea, Panya is actually a very, very popular fantasy golf game. It actually started out as a PC game. And, just to talk about how popular this game is, there's actually a convention. That's right, a Panya convention. In this convention, they have people from all over the world, or, you know, whomever that decides to join in, to participate in venues, in cosplay, and tournaments. They even have Panya tournaments. And I actually think that's kind of cool. Because normally when you go to a gaming convention. You know for example such as E3. You only see games that's coming out. You may test play a few games here and there. But that's about it. In the convention over at Panya. It's like there's more into it. Because they use your. You get to use your own screen name. You can cosplay like I mentioned already. You can um, get points. Money. All that stuff. And I think that's pretty cool, especially the fact that this started out as a PC game and it just overwhelmingly became popular. Again, it's a Korean game. I believe it's the South Korean. But anyway, as you can see from the cover, it is very vibrant and colorful. Yes, it has that anime style. Sorry about that. It is a very, very nicely anime style. As a matter of fact, when you actually play the game... It seemed very vibrant. That's all I can say. Even the dark theme where it's supposed to be ominous, dark, and evil. It has it, it has enough color tone where you can tell, okay, this area is not supposed to be good. It's friendly. It's kind of messed up. It's kind of like um, their version of where the bad people live. The evil guys, the villains, you know, where they get tortured and stuff. But it still seemed vibrant and colorful where you're just like, you can't help but admire it, admire the scenery. Now, as you can already tell, it is for the PSP and not for the PS Vita. But my experience with this game overall is actually awesome. I like how everything looks and feels. And like I said, it kind of borrow the same game mechanics as the Wii U Sports. I mean, not the Wii U, the Nintendo Wii um, Sports game. And, you know, what I mean by borrowing the mechanics is that there's a bar on the bottom. 
and once you hit for your swing, you got to stop it at a certain spot or, you know, go full bar. But when it goes bad, you got to hit it to stop it. So that way, that's your power bar. And then, of course, you can um, shift where you want to hit your ball and stuff like that. Another thing, each characters or golfers or, you know, in this game has different strength, power, stamina. And that's what I like about this game. It's very, it makes you recognize that each character are completely different on their own. Like, that, I mean, you know how some games are is where it got plethora of characters, but they kind of feel the same, only they look different and dress different. In this game, definitely each character on their own. Another thing, now, this may be fun for a lot of people. For me, it's, it's a nice addition. You can actually, um, uh, how can I put it? You can change the look of your characters. You know, customize them. Meaning clothes, hairstyle, look, pants, everything. You can customize exactly how you want your character to look. And you also have a way to, you know, get certain clubs. Like some clubs will raise your attribute, lower your attribute, raise your strength, you know, so on and so forth. And that's kind of cool. It makes each of the characters become more adaptable with the game. Now, there are some pros and cons with this game. The pros is it's fun. It is actually, you know, if you have one of those moments where you're bored and you just want to add something fun and different, I highly recommend this one. It's fun. It's very colorful. It's vibrant. And there's a lot more to it than just a basic, oh, let's pick up and go and play. Because you can do other things such as, multiplayer you know play with your friends play golf there's also one where you can actually challenge people online or whatnot I don't know how that function works I never really messed around with that and there's also a shop where they have these little creatures that look like plastic bags but they got faces on them and they're kind of cool because they actually add more character to this game where it's it's kind of funny and it's kind of cool there's another creature in there but I don't want to give everything away but once you get this game, or if you have this game, you know what I'm talking about. Now, there is another aspect where it's kind of like a lot. It's not really a lottery. It's sort of like a mystery thing. It's a PayPal. Or not PayPal. It's uh, Papel. It's uh, spelled P-A-P-E-L. Think of it as paper, but replace the R with the L. That's what you get. And in this aspect is you're supposed to you spend paying. Now, that's another thing. Panya, believe it or not, is actually like uh, like someone saying goal or something. Because in this fantasy world, you don't really get money. You get paying, which is basically their version of a coin. And you spend a certain amount of paying to basically shake this papel. And it drops these balls. Which is basically golf balls, but they're like those egg balls from the candy machine where you put in the quarter, you turn it, and the thing comes out, and you split it from, from the center. That's what these balls are. You split them, and it offers you um, more clothing to customize your characters, weapons, or more paying. You know, it's all miscellaneous. There's even a function where if you play Panya every day or every random day, and you go to that... Um, that Panya shop, they will actually reward you with extra stuff, which I think is kind of cool. Now, this game, believe it or not, does have a story arc. Yes, I and I know it's it's, it's it's a fantasy golf game, but here's how the story goes. It's one of those stories where it's like long time ago type scenario, but there's this great evil that wants to take over this world of Panya. And it was successful, believe it or not. However, a hero rose up and defeated the evil being and trapped it as well as his power in the form of golf. I mean, less, I mean, it is an anime type of story arc, but you can't really be mad because in the world of anime, we had things like um, women being trapped inside a guy's bodies and comes out when there's evil in the air and I'm talking about Birdie. If you are familiar with Birdie, then you know where the scenario goes. 
But anyway, it's it, the story arc's really cool, and you know, after the hero defeated this evil, the people of Panya want to celebrate this glorious day of this evil being being um, put away by having these special tournaments, kind of like honoring the moment. You know, not really replaying the event, but just honoring the moment of this hero. And for some reason, this year, well, in this game, this year tournament, this evil being has a chance to resurrect him or herself from where they were. And it's trying to use another character to help be freed. Now, you play as the son. Well, not really. You play as these other characters because in this story arc, you know how in some RPG games where you play only as one character and you just follow along as it is? Or some RPG games where it's like, um, or not just RPG, but some games where you have the ability to select one character and just play their story, get to the end, and then it'll open up so you can play another character, go to the end, whatever. In this Panya game, you do play as all the characters all at once. In other words, this game story art comes in chapters. There's an epilogue, then there's chapter 1, chapter 2, and, uh, I mean, not an epilogue, sorry, the prologue, chapter 1, chapter 2, and the epilogue, you know, all that stuff. But you play through them, and as you play through them, you play through all the characters. You unlock new characters, and you still gotta play that character. It's kind of an annoyance, but not really that bad. Now, because I would rather have just select a character and play, but at the same time, it's actually kind of cool because it gives you a chance to find out, okay, which character is your strength and which character is your crap, you know, where you suck at. But, again, it's actually a really pretty fun game. And the story arc is pretty interesting. I mean, like I said, you do, there's the son of the hero, there's another character there that is related to another hero and then there's so many other characters which actually give this game more of a reason to play this game now there are some cons in here I mean I already mentioned the pros but here's the con when it comes to golf game sometimes especially in this Ponya game sometimes you get the feeling that the game is trying to cheat if you're doing really really good I mean you know how there are some games where it has challenge and whatnot there are some moments in this game, I mean, it feels like, like say for example, there's this one level, and you got so used to how that level is, and that's another thing, this game, it has so many different levels, but at the same time, not really, because it's all repetitive. Now, there's this one level that you may be so used to, you always have the same tactic, even though you're using different characters, and like I said, different strengths, different attributes. But that strategy, and that's another thing, with this golf game, it's all about strategy. Like where you want to hit the ball, how much shots you want to get in, and how to um, pretty much get a lot of more pain instead of losing the match. Now, as I was saying, you play this level, even the wind played the effect in here, but you're so used to it that you pretty much know how to beat that level with your eyes closed. Sometimes the game itself will probably recognize that and then do like a little cheat where all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, I've been doing this for the past two or three characters and now you're trying to jiff me? Like, you know, it likes to do that. It, trying to give a challenge, but at the same time, it can be a little annoying. Um, but overall, it is a fun game. And again, it's the levels are somewhat repetitive. But it's pretty much your basic golf game. It is a fantasy golf. It does have some RPG element. And like I said, you can play with your friend in this game. I do highly recommend it though. If you're kind of like me where your whole collection consists of so many other things. But you want a game where... And I got this game as a gift. Like I said, it threw me off a little bit. But And I do highly thank the person that gave it to me. But if you want a game where it's completely different, where it's not in your realm of um, 
you know, like action, RPGs, or fighting, or anything like that, I highly recommend Panya. Because it's very colorful, very vibrant, and the characters are pretty much awesome. Now, the soundtrack in this game is very relaxing. It's like you can really get into the tune. It's not like the type of song where if it plays over and over and over and over again, it becomes annoying. It's more like, okay, when you hear the song, you're like, okay, this is kind of a hip tune. Oh, okay, this is not bad. You know, it's like you don't mind hearing that song over as each pl level um, play. The voice acting, it's pretty much, the only voice acting is there is when you make a perfect sh shot and it goes, Panya. Like, there's this very animated, l lively voice where you just hit the Panya. Because, like I said, in this game, Panya is kind of like you, um, you're watching soccer and you hear the commentator saying, Go! You know? So, yeah. Definitely really cool. And, like I said, you do receive paying to buy more customization. And, yeah. Now I'm starting to repeat myself. Now, as you can see, it is rated E for everyone. So that means doesn't matter what age group you are, if you're old or if you're not, you're like a little baby or if you have kids, you want them to play it or if you're an adult, a teenager, whatever. It's for everyone. There is no swearing. There is no nudity. However, there are some questionable outfits that you can purchase, but it's not like they're trying to make them very exploitive. You know what I mean? It's more like Okay, they're just characters, and like I said, it's kind of an anime feel. So, yeah, I highly recommend this game if you are a golf fan. If you're not a golf fan, it has more pros than cons. Very vibrant. The anime style is pretty much cool. Like I said, it's more like a paper cutout style, though, meaning that you, they don't really move much. The only time they move is when you actually play the game. Or in the opening scene, if you just let the game run bef before you hit the start button, you will get like a little opening scene, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, definitely recommend picking this up. Alright then, later.